on right. Exit. Create game. Oops. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. At the top left, as the white protoss, we have LRM Dodi. And at the bottom left, as the blue Zerg, we have Netwars True Touch. The game knew I was going to play Fighting Spirit. It's a good question. The game is actually pretty good at predicting uh, what map people come out on. Especially because True Touch, uh, you know, did play for LRM in the last two Gambit's Cups. I mean, he is, he is technically on LRM. But because all the Polish players wanted to make their own team for Gambit's Cup, uh, you know, he's playing for Net Wars. But everywhere else he wears the LRM tag, so... Yeah. <laughs> His Saniki strats. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, Dodi's PvZ isn't really a strong suit. It's definitely his weakest matchup. Um, but on the other hand, uh, the Polish Net Wars team has primarily Zergs, kind of similar to LRM, so it's kind of hard not to get a PvZ. He'd basically have to come out against Bonneth or something, uh, and and Elrond might be saving, you know, might want to get somebody else against Bonneth. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so yeah, this is Fighting Spirit, as the, as the players have been saying, uh, and we did have a is it a nine pool? Oh my goodness, it's a nine pool, but we also have a first drone scout. So Dodi getting a little bit lucky here. Can scout? Oh, he stopped. Okay, now he's going in. <laughs> I was like, is he just gonna try and hide the probe here and like? wall in with cannons or something. Nah, that'd be a little bit too silly. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this forge placement. would like it here so you can build the cannon flush with the pylon, but it's not a huge deal. Anyway. Oh, oh, block it! Block it! It's a 9 pull opening, so it doesn't really matter. It's gonna make 6 links anyway. So you can see the money's not going high. Question is, where does Drone go? Drone's actually going... Okay, he's going back now. I was like, why would he go in the same direction as the Overlord, which just started the Protoss? I don't know. It is a mystery, but we do have two cannons, as expected. You can say Night Pool. Oh, and also the drone actually came back while the probe was off scouting things. So everything is going as expected. Now, uh, it's quite curious, so Net Wars is down 2-0 right now, but, you know, they're still a pretty strong team, and uh, True Dutch Man is pretty darn good. Definitely one of the best players on the team. So, yeah. I don't know, I really like Dodi, but I also don't want this to go, like, up 3-0 for LRM. Unless it's a, an amazing reverse sweep. In that case, I, I, could, I could accept that. But I really want this to go to Ace Match. The only problem with Ace Match, though, in LRM versus Net Wars, is they both have so many strong Zergs, that it's almost inevitably going to be a ZVZ. Unless one of them tries to completely mind game the other and do some kind of weird snipe out with one of their non-Zergs, but still, even then, I'm not really sure how that happens. I mean, I mean, Net Wars might use like Mazor or Schnitzel to try and snipe out a Zerg, but I, I think it's much safer to use someone like True Touch or, or even South Park. Really, if you expect a Zerg to come out, go with South Park. He's got pretty good ZVZ. Yeah. <coughs> anyway. So, uh, Bro guy's gonna scout around. Overload's gonna scout around. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, uh. So, nothing too fancy going on. Um, I'm just trying to think what kind of stuff does Dodie do? in this matchup. First of all, he's done his wall correctly on this map, <clears throat> which makes me think that this isn't Dodi, it's actually Scan. I mean, uh, no, clearly it's Dodi and he's learned how to wall properly, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's like one of the hallmarks of Dodi is doing incorrect walls. So it looks like he's at least figured it out for Fighting Spirit, which is good considering if there's one map where you're going to learn the walls, it might as well be Fighting Spirit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, he's, he's known for good Zelda control, so maybe you're going for fa Fast Plus One. 
Speed loss? Looks definitely looks that way. Getting that plus one already. I think that's what he's gonna go for. We've seen that a couple of times already today, so and it's been quite effective, so uh yeah. Let's see it. Plus one speed loss shenanigans. Unfortunately, I think his drone his probe's gonna die now. Probe Yeah. Oh wait, uh, well that went better than expected. Now on the way. Speed on the way. And crucially, this plus one. Ooh, I like this Dragoon. I like it. I like early Dragoon. So this Overlord is almost guaranteed dead. This one can very well die as well. If he actually, he can actually come out here, kill this one, go back, kill the one in his main. I don't know why True Touch isn't running this one away. It's a little bit weird to me. You almost always want to run this away in case this sec this Dragoon is made. Some paralysis will only make Zealots initially, but I, I really like making this initial Dragoon, and, and it looks like Dodi likes it as well. Um, so guaranteed one OV kill at least. Boom! Now that I think about it, didn't Dodi do this against... Wait, did Dodi play? Yeah, wasn't Dodi in... Uh... Whose group was he in? Oh no, he was in Eon Zerg's group. Yeah, in, in TLS. And he did the same thing actually, and I remember saying that that's, this is really nice. So this is like free Overlord here. Well, in a second. And he can also like take three, sh th you know, a few shots off this. He can take like half the HP off this Overlord as well. So then the Corsair comes out, it can kill it really fast. And looks like we're gonna have plus one Corsairs as well. So he's going for kind of a draw style, uh, you know, plus one speed loss shenanigans into plus one Corsairs. Actually, wait, I guess draw goes for two Stargate Corsairs. So it's not really draw style, <laughs> but uh, yeah, plus one speed loss, plus one Corsairs. Yeah, not too uncommon that is. Do, 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 do. Wait, the Sockway beat Killer? What? Sockway, there's no way you beat Killer. Did you really beat Killer? How did you do that? Crazy, man. Crazy! Oh man, you even did it on stream. Sick times. I'm gonna have to go watch that VOD. You link me the VOD. So... The speed is on the way. Uh, it's slightly slow. Look at that, plus one's almost done and speed is not nearly done. Oh man, Doty completely messed up his timing. What is going on, Doty? Why is your speed so late? What did you do? Oh, nice. And what is True Dips doing? Getting a den. Getting a hatchery. Getting the Samit Sim City. He's doing everything as normal. And uh, Doty, by the way, did not actually add gateways very quickly, so he's actually not going for a crazy plus one speed on attack in the beginning. Which I thought he was. Like, I don't know why he would get such a fast plus one and not do that. And then not get plus two. See what I mean? If you're gonna get a fast plus one and not attack with it, then you should get a fast plus two. Because otherwise your fast plus two is done app or sorry, your fast plus one is done absolutely nothing. He didn't attack with it, he didn't get a second upgrade. So there was actually no point getting that upgrade that quickly. He could have just gotten it like now, or you know, 30 seconds ago instead of way, way, way long time ago. But what's that course they're doing? What second hit, not good. He's not stacking them either. He doesn't have a probe set up to stack them, which is uh which is not ideal. He's also not continuing to make them, so he looks like he's going to stop at four Corsairs with plus one. Uh, which I think is enough to... No, it's not even quite enough to one-shot a Scourge. But, uh, huh. Curious, 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 curious. Anyway, looks like Probe going out. Going to go take that third base. Really needs to send a Zealot or something to help deal with it, because there's almost always going to be a Zergling here, so there's no point sending the Probe by itself, because you're just going to have to pull it back and send something else to deal with it. Uh, looks like Meanwhile, True Touch is going to think about taking this relatively quick fourth base. Very, very standard nowadays to do that. Get that super, super quickly. Uh, and just rely on good SimCity and, and defensive play to, to kind of keep yourself alive for the, for the time being. So it looks like uh, that Zergling is cleared out, but that's going to let that's going to let True Touch know what's going on here. Um, I mean, I, I somewhat like to you know, clear this out with a DT so there's no, uh, there's no warning message so some you know if the Zerg's not paying complete attention he might not notice that it's dead for you know 30 seconds or something which can give you a slight edge but it's, it shouldn't matter too too much anyway Dodi is uh, getting to move out here with this small ragtag team he's got two DTs in the force actually which is quite interesting so comboing with the four plus one Corsairs uh, using those DTs to give himself some nice DPS 
which obviously, without detection, is completely safe. And I think he should force True Dutch to run away here. I don't know why he's actually fighting. He can hear the DTs even if he can't see them. So I uh, really should not be fighting for these DTs on the field. Oh man, I don't know why he's wasting these units here. Bit of a sloppy, sloppy play there, but he's getting his fourth base as the Boros gets his third, so it looks like it's going to be a fairly calm opening here. Neither player really committing to any kind of aggression, both just going for the late game, and that's what I want to see. want to see some nice late game PvZ. I really think late game PvZ is one of the most interesting uh, matchups there is. I mean, basically because in late game PvZ, every single unit, literally every single unit is useful. Scouts? Useful. You use them to counter guardians behind your natural, which are also uh, very common and very useful in a late game. Build, you know, three guardians behind a natural on fighting spirit just to harass the probes there, and it's really and it's basically almost impossible to deal with unless you've already gotten a good number of corsairs, or you just build one or two scouts and deal with that that way. So yeah, basically every every unit is awesome. Uh, so that was not good. <clears throat> the two die Templar getting picked off. You can see Dodie not too happy about that either. And it looks like the Hydra's actually going to run around the side here. There are a few cannons in position, and the army's coming up the other side, so I don't think this attack is going to work. And this attack might actually trap the Hydra's army of True Dutch. This actually just might be a suicidal attack here to do as much damage as possible. There's no way for him to actually retreat. He's going to go around the bottom, but the reinforcements should be coming up from the other side. Yeah, they are. So it looks like True Dutch actually is going to suicide his Hydra force here. It was only something like 12 Hydra's, 10 to 12 Hydra's. So it's not the end of the world, but, uh... I don't know why he did that, he did essentially no damage, I mean he basically just caught a couple of those High Templars, killed a couple of cannons, and then suicided that, that mobile force. Um, I'm not convinced that that was worth it, he's also lost a couple of Overlords, so he is now Supply Blocked. Uh, so that is less than ideal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 gateways, plus 1 is natural, 9 gateways in total. Now getting some goon range. And oh, hold that thought. Looks like we have a big attack here at the Nat Hole with good Sim City here and good defense. I'm not sure if Dodi can actually break through. Although that is a lot of units here and not many Hydras left. Oh my god, True Touch could be in a lot of trouble here. Dodi is breaking the front. Where are all the units, True Touch? Why you no units? Ah, storm! Oh god, the probes. The drones, I mean, whatever. Everything is dead. He just stormed the extractor just for lols. He's like, here, I don't even need this storm, man. I just killed all your drones. Oh god, True Touch. True Touch is dying. True Touch is dead. Net Wars, what's going on? Net Wars. All right, reverse 4-3, reverse 4-3, come on. Reverse 4-3, incoming. Oh man. This did not go the way I thought. Did not go as expected. I did look with that LRM, but still. GG! Doty makes it 3-0. Net Wars is in trouble. They are in big trouble here. Down 0-3 against LRM. What's going on? What is going on? That's alright. We got Mazor. We got we got South Park. We got Bonneth. That guy is undefeated in Gambit Scope. We got Bonneth. So we're fine. I don't know why I'm saying we. I'm not even in Net Wars. I'm not even Polish. I don't know. And oh, the next match, it's going to be a ZBZ, but it's going to be between a South Park, a ZBZ Master, 